Hi everyone, it's Dave for Pro Tools Answers. In this video, we're going to look at setting up a headphone mix. And one of my students recently um, has been talking about how to set up a headphone mix uh, with one of his uh, interfaces. Um, and rather than write out the process for him, I thought I'd just make a video and then we can stick it on Pro Tools Answers and then we can all uh, benefit from it as well. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the the, uh, the, the outputs um, using my Avid Omni, which has, uh, it has actually got eight outputs on it. Um, my particular student has uh, just two output pairs, uh, the main outputs and then a second three and four pair. Um, so I'm going to try and mimic my uh, his setup as much as I possibly possibly can, and hopefully it will make it relatively simple. To set up a headphone output for a client or a musician that you might be working with in a single room, um, you're going to need an interface that allows you to put out additional outputs um, over and above your main one and two output pair. And this also includes uh, headphones as well. Now we're gonna be doing this on my Avid Omni, which is, as I mentioned, has uh, eight outputs um, and it also has an, a, a single headphone output as well. Um, the particular student in, in mind has an Apollo Twin, uh, which has got a single headphone output uh, and two output pairs, outputs one and two and three and four. Now, the way that we're going to start doing this, before we can do any kind of routing um, on the Pro Tools mixer, we have to go up to I.O. And then we're going to head over to the Output tab. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a, a pair, an output pair um, alongside our main monitoring pair. So again, this is mimicking uh, the, uh, uh, the Apollo Twins output. Uh, options, uh, which has got an output uh, one and two, which is going to be typically used for main speakers or the producer's headphone outputs. And our output three and four is going to be used to send the signal to our musician. Now, the way that I've set this up is we can either have a, a single stereo output, which will give the musician uh, a stereo feed in their headphones. Or we could, if you've got two musicians that you want to work with, you can send them a pair of mono feeds, one each, one using the three output and one using the four output. And this has been set up here so that we can easily demonstrate this on the Pro Tools mixer. So once your outputs are set up, we're gonna head over to the bus tab and we can see a bunch of buses that have been set up already. Some of them are output buses and some of them are internal buses. Now this is a working session, so I'm not going to clean this up. Um, so hopefully you can follow what's going on. I'm just going to add in uh, my additional outputs uh, up here. Now, what the bus tab is, it allows us to create software buses that we can then connect to our physical outputs. So that's what we're going to need to do. So we'll click on new path and we'll create a stereo path, which is gonna be called uh, client headphones. Now we're also going to create a pair of sub paths as well, so that we can deal with uh, the mono equivalence of this stereo path too. So we'll click create, and then I'm just gonna stick that all the way up there. And I'm gonna drop down this, the disclosure triangle Let's just ne actually rename that three and four because this might make it a little bit easier uh, to see what happens later. And then we've also got the mono pair that are set up right there as well. So if we now connect this and we click the little uh, uh, checkbox, that maps that bus to a physical output and we're going to select the output that we've created uh, in our output tab. So our main outputs are going to be going to outputs one and two, to my A7Xs in this case, and the headphones are going to be sent to outputs three and four. Now the outputs are, aren't going to be able to deal with headphones on their own. They're gonna need some kind of amplification. And what I've suggested to my guy is that he uses something relatively cost effective because money is is a thing um, and I've suggested one of these Behringer P2s. Now I use these uh, live on stage in the PA company and they're incredibly cheap but they're actually quite uh, quite good. If you don't turn them up too loud um, they're fine. If you turn up the, the volume too high they get a little bit shouty uh, but they're fine for on stage and I've used them in the studio as well and they they sound fine and the, cl the clients have been perfectly happy with them so far they do have a single input now these can work on either 
mono or stereo mode. If they're working in mono mode, you can just plug from an output directly into one of these. Um, or if you want to use a stereo, you're going to need a Y cable, um, which connects the outputs from the interface into that side. And then this side will connect into the P2 set into mono mode. Um, these aren't very expensive, they're only about sort of 30 quid or so. Um, so if uh, if money is an option for you, but you're wanting to be able to do multiple headphone things in the studio and you've only got one headphone output on your monitoring uh, on your interface, it's a really good low cost, uh, good quality solution. So with that defined, we're going to click OK. And now we're going to go over to our Pro Tools mixer. Now what I like to do in, in the Pro Tools mixer itself is I'll use sends A to E for all of my regular uh, sending jobs. So sending to reverb, sending to side chains, uh, parallel compression stuff. Um, you can see I've got a send here for a print track, um, side chaining, etc. Um, and I don't tend to use much more than that. So I'm going to use sends F to J, which you can show uh, by uh, clicking down here um, on the track views, the, the, um, the, the mix window view selector and selecting sends F to J. Let's get rid of A to E for now because we can save a little bit of screen real estate right now. And I'm going to set up a very simple headphone mix um, to, my, uh, to my musician. And what I'm gonna do very easily and very quickly, I'm gonna hold down Alt and I'm gonna click on the send. And rather than selecting a bus, I'm going to select an output. And I want to send him the, uh, the stereo output. So I'm going to select the stereo bus. And the Alt modifier uh, is a do to all command. So it will essentially copy over the command that I've made on to all of the other tracks as well. Um, I'm going to call down command so that I can show all of the uh, the faders in line with the tracks. So essentially what we've got now is we've got two mixes available. We've got the mix down here, which is the engineer producers mix. And that's what you'll hear coming through your main uh, monitor output one and two. And then you've got the mix here, which is what your musician is going to be hearing. And just for something very simple, I'm going to copy my main mix faders up to my sends by holding down Command and Alt and pressing H. And I want to send that up to Send J. So it's a nice, easy way to, to create a mix specifically for your musician. And then if they decide that they want less drums, you can turn the drums down. Uh, if they want a little bit more bass, they can turn up more bass. If they want vo more vocal, which they probably invariably will do, um, we can turn up the lead vocals as well. Oh, I've just noticed that my Dootable command has also included a send on my master bus, uh, and we don't want that. So Pro Tools gives us a really elegant way of being able to set up and send separate monitor mixes to our musicians. If we wanted to get a little bit cleverer, and um, there's a couple of extra things we can do, we can stick all of our sends into pre-fade uh, pre mode, which means that these faders are not going to respond to any of the, uh, uh, the main fader movements. Um, if you've got any automation programmed in, um, maybe your musician might have a problem with with hearing some of the uh, the instruments change volumes and things in his ears while he's trying to record you never know um, and of course you'll have to make some adjustments on the faders if you do switch over to pre-fader mode to give them a nice mix another thing that we could potentially do is uh, we could create ourselves an auxiliary um, to control the main outputs going out to our musician's headphone amp now at the moment all of our sends are going out of the outputs three and four at the level that you've defined it at right here in the, with the fader. But they might want to have the entire mix turned up and it'll be cumbersome to do that. It may also be quite cumbersome to group everything um, and then have all the faders respond together. So a really nice, easy way. Uh, let's do it with a master fader actually. And we'll call it Q1. And we'll connect that to headphones three and four. So now the headphone level has a main uh, volume control going to our musician's headphone. It's a really nice, uh, elegant way of doing it. So that is a stereo output. But what if we have two musicians working with us? 
um, and we want to give them separate mixes. So let's get rid of all of these sends by clicking on uh, Alt and then clicking No Send. That's going to delete all of our sends. Um, and let's just select the tracks that we want to send them this time so that we don't end up with a, a send on our master fader. And we'll select all the tracks. We'll click on Alt, Shift, Modifiers, and we'll select a mono output, output three. And then we'll do the same thing below it, still holding my modifiers, and we'll click number four. And then let's go ahead and hold down Command and expand the, the, both of those sends. We'll do our same workflow as before. We'll copy over that mix over to send J with Command Alt and H, and then also send it to I as well. So we have two separate mixes now, or at least we can build two separate mixes for our two individual musicians. Um, and of course we don't need the stereo one anymore, so let's just um, make that inactive for now. And we'll create ourselves two mono master faders called Q1. Did I not select two? And let's select uh, client headphone three and client headphone four. So we've easily set up two monitor mixes for one client, another headphone mixed for the second, and we've got overall output control of both of those entire sends through two separate faders. So it's really nice and easy to be able to set up monitor mixes. The, the, the thing is that you need an interface that has the ability to output to multiple outputs. So the Omni is perfect for that. Um, the Apollo Twin is perfect for that. Uh, if you And if you've got two headphone outputs on your interface, the likelihood is that you'll be able to set up uh, or, or repatch the second headphone output to be one of the alternative door output paths. So in this case, um, it could be outputs three and four. You can digitally patch that uh, to connect to uh, the second headphone output, and then you don't need a, another headphone amplifier. The, uh, the interface is gonna do all of the work for you, which is very, very cool. So hopefully that made sense. Um, if you're liking what you're, we're doing at Pro Tools Answers, um, sub hit subscribe on our channel, hit like on our video if you could as well, um, and you can also hit the bell icon to, so that we can let you know uh, when we release new videos. We do it every week, but things like this just come out sporadically, um, kind of as and when and we want them or need them. Um, if you head over to ProToolsAnswers.com, you can subscribe over there as well. And if you fancy taking that next step to support us at Pro Tools Answers, you can join our inner circle over there as well. And some of the benefits include uh, masterclasses uh, once a month with some of us guys and um, being able to join our, our Discord community of Pro Tools enthusiasts. It's a really nice place to hang out. So hopefully you'll, you'll uh, take that next step to come and support us. Um, Thank you for watching. Let us know over on the Pro Tools Answers Facebook group if you got something out of this, and we will see you at the next episode. Take it easy.